press, bit of a change of scenery this week. Big week for the stable, starting with Cornella and the Walker Cup. Yeah, time honoured race and a race that's um, very special to a few of our owners. And we had two requests to take horses down there. Uh, beyond thankful was on behalf of Brett Bradley, who's on the committee, and Neil Werrett in the ownership, who I think might have been a guest on the day. Uh, unfortunately, was beaten by the, by, I guess, the, a couple of the older stages from the local community, uh, Gary Towsell and Richard Pegan, who's got a close association with Wagga. So, um, Trade Commissioner came out on top, ran down the stable mate in the shadows of the post, um, it was quite a special moment, so well done to those connections. Brilliant, and then on Saturday, Grand Marshal won the Stains final at Hawkesbury. Yeah, it was good to see him be rewarded for some consistent runs. He's only had a handful of starts. Son of Dan Silly, uh, whom we've had a lot of success with, likes of Permits, Forteller, Index Link, to name a few. And quite notably, they're better on good track. So he got a pretty good track to run on on Saturday, and duly won by the with the help of a, a great ride from Jim Cassidy. And then just earlier this week we had Boris Badenoff and Sense and Reason both. Boris sure. did a good job, great ride from Tim Clark. He's a bit of a handful, but once we get him sorted he'll win a nice race. And yeah, Sense and Reason beat the stable mate man Wazel yesterday at Warwick Farm. Um, it's a good ride by Jason Collett and uh, a few others there that ran some eye catching races, some nice youngsters coming through. Other big news this week, Zoo Stars safely touched down in the UK. Yeah, long trip and by all accounts travelled very well. Um, he's the utmost professional horse, Zoo Star, and that's I think one of his big attributes. Um, he doesn't worry about anything, he takes everything within a stride. And He bunny hopped his way to England, um, started out Sunday afternoon, left Sydney, and um, I think went to Hong Kong, Dubai, Frankfurt, spent 24 hours in Frankfurt um, checking out um, the local scenery, had a pick of grass and plenty to eat and got on a truck and travelled to England and he's based at Lambourne, so settled in very well and only lost a minimal amount of weight and so far so good. Brilliant, okay big weekend for this day. Now. First of all Hayley, oh. Liam Pryor is on oh. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> just phoned in, just prior to the interview, and it needs to be shared. He set off up to Port Macquarie to take the baby up to see mum and dad and the locals. Packing the car, didn't quite realise there was enough room with a new addition to the stable. And an extra bag or two required a roof rack to be purchased. The roof rack was purchased, bags went on top of the car, probably similar to Mr Bean I would suggest. Set off down the road, down comes the rain. Had to call him, get a tarpaulin. Tarpaulin did the job, started flapping a few kilometres later. No problems, Lev's used to a few little problems here and there, he gets by. Then, flat tyre. Has to get all this luggage out of the boot, pull off side on the freeway, change the tyre, and he's safely on his way to Port Macquarie. Good luck, Lev. That's about a quarter of the trip. I'm sure there'll be more to share next week. <laughs> trip for young players. Okay, Rose Hill on Saturday. Um, Power Access Handicap over 13.50. We've got four runners starting off with Tromzo. Um, he's come back well, did a good job last preparation, I think winning a couple of good races. Uh, can't fault him, runs well fresh. It's had a couple of trials, 13.50 should be no problem. It'll be hard to beat from a good draw. Um, he's never far away, he always earns his prize money, uh, just struggles to break through to win. He's got a nice draw I think, Barry Fire from memory. Second up, actually it'll be third up, mm. and very hard to beat. Eichelstein? First up for preparation, he's better on a slower heavy track. Has been some showers forecast leading into the weekend, but. Um, I don't think they'll eventuate. Um, could possibly try and may not race, so we'll make that decision Saturday morning. And Rugged Cross. It's come back from Melbourne, looks great. Um, I really like this horse, He's, he'll, he'll win a nice race for us. And um, hasn't had any luck this preparation so far with bad draws. Um, 
ran a good race last start and I think the 1350 suits, it's nice and fresh, should be hard to beat. Race 3, Mar Mallow over 1900 metres. Good run last Wednesday at Canterbury, 10 days ago. Um, had no luck whatsoever. Finally got out and um, got home really well to run second or third from memory. And um, she'll appreciate getting to Rose Hill. Race 4, the Kenny Callender. Fellowship Handicap Black Revolver. Yes, Kim Callender puts a lot of lot into charities and it's his big race day of the year, so all the best and I hope everybody digs deep for this good fund. Um, and hopefully we can the win the race. Um, what did you say we had that? Black, Black Revolver. Revolver. Good race <laughs> first up. He's looking for more than twelve hundred, but this is the best race I could find. Um, to his advantage, he's got a good draw on Saturday. Hopefully that will enable him to be handy without being used up so that he can finish his race off, but he is looking for 1,400 metres. Race 5, Caesar's Princess and Christy Lee over 1,100. Uh, Caesar's Princess, she had no luck first up, uh, awkwardly away, and never really got into the race from that point on. Um, Endeavoured to keep her fresh, and that's when she races at her best. Christy Lee. Um, also races well fresh, she's drawn well, she's a handy horse, she is a Saturday winner and I think will be very hard to beat. Big race of the day, the Lord Mayor's Cup, we've got six runners starting from the top, Hermit. Well all of these horses have been in the system for a long time and they've been good to us but um, yeah, it's hard to win with them now, they're, they're well weighted, they're right up at the top level and it's hard for them. But they do still deserve to be here. Um, I know a lot of other stables would have moved them on quicker, but our system tends to keep them running for a bit longer and keeps them competitive. And I guess Permit's a good example. He won um, two good races back over the Christmas months, both are listed in a Group 3 race from memory. Um, his run two weeks ago was very good. He does appreciate the better tracks, which he'll get on Saturday. And yeah, it's a bit short of his best, but. He's never far away. I'm imposing. Um, same again, he won the Summer Cup for us back on Boxing Day. Um, had no luck whatsoever last start. It was disappointing when he was ready to win. Um, prior to that, he's run third behind Labaz and Weary, and we all know what their form's like. So um, he's probably my pick. Um, he is better on the fresh side and we've endeavoured to keep him fresh for Saturday's race. Wasn. Another good example, won the Gosford or Wild Cup last preparation, plus won multiple listed races for the stable. Uh, he's working his way back into fitness. Um, look, Saturday's race is probably a bit short for him. There's a 2400 metre race in two weeks time, which I think will suit better. This is CCI. Um, He's a um, nice horse, uh, had no luck last start. He'll appreciate stepping up to the, this distance, although only second up over the 2000 is a bit of a concern. But he's come back well, working very well. He'll be one of the main chances. Sacred Flyer. Um, he's not quite up to this level just yet, but um, he's working his way there. And this is a bit of a fill-in race for him. Um, he's entitled to easier races, uh, but there's certainly none around for his benchmark or at a suitable distance. So he'll run, I would say he'll finish midfield, but in two, possibly three weeks time, there's an 1800 at Randwick. Look out for him there. And finally, Madam Nash. Uh, same again, she's done a good job for the stable, probably just struggles at this class a little bit. Uh, she's gonna be sold in the, the Magic Millions mare sale coming up shortly, and be nice to sneak some black type to further her value. Okay, on to race seven, just the sole runner in your never. Ran a terrific race first up, Hayley. Um, just got beaten in a photo finish. Um, come from near last from an awkward gate. He's drawn better on Saturday. Should enable him to be a little bit closer and he's come back better. This come back better this preparation will be very hard to beat. And rounding off Rose Hill in race eight, perplexity. Um, just needs further, but he'll be in for good preparation. Uh, his first up run was good, forget where he finished. Um, he got back from his wide gate, 
and uh, nothing really took them into the race. We finished off okay. You'd be one just charging down the outside late. Hopefully you can run into the money. Clever boy. Um, going well, he'll appreciate the 1500. He'd like a little bit of rain about to enhance his chances, but um, his work's been good and he's a consistent horse. And the Alfonso. Uh, first up run was also better than what it looked. Uh, Nash really got off him, said he just needs ground. He'll get that on Saturday. Um, he's a handy horse. And then to Dobin, we've got Joe Taylor based out there with our steeds. Doing a great job. First runner of the day is uh, Brazen Bow. Yep, he needs to step up to this level, but I think he's quite a capable horse. Showed that on debut when he, he won impressively at Canterbury. Next start wasn't too far away from them uh, on a wet track from memory. So hopefully he gets a good surface to run on on Saturday. He's trialled well going into this race, settled in up there. Um, he arrived Thursday morning and settling in really well. Um, as we've seen year in, year out, Queensland makes horses. Uh, hopefully, Brazen Bow's one of them. Dan Chai and Graham and Linda Huddy's colours. Yeah, he's uh, another one of our imports and doing a great job. Uh, a good second. Um, the JRA plate at Randwick a couple of weeks ago. He'll appreciate a better surface if the rain stays away from doing it. And looks very well placed and one of our best chances of the weekend. And finally, Villanova. Uh, drawn a good gate, should enable him to get a bit closer. His last few runs have been very good without, without winning. Uh, mainly due to the fact he's had to go a long way back from bad draws. So, gets a good gate on Saturday. It'll be hard to beat. Brilliant. Fingers crossed for a big day. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Hayley.